Ugh. Guys, it's happening again. We're number two in the country after last week we won by 31 points to, I'll admit, a lowly Missouri team. Oh, I hate the top 25 sometimes. This absolutely boggles my mind. And I know I'm better than this team that's number one. I know I'm better than the team that's number one. But, you know, it, it, it absolutely astounds me how the polls work in this game. We're gonna, we gotta face a bunch of mediocre parts, uh, mediocre teams until like next week. And then the week, I think we, we have like three more ranked opponents on the schedule. I have no idea. I, I have no words. I have no words. But today we're taking on Auburn. They're three and three. Mediocre team. We've dealt with them before in the past. They we've had their number pretty much throughout this entire dynasty. Um But if you guys are excited, make sure you guys drop a like. If you're new to the channel at all, hit some hit that subscribe button. I I, I, I just I'm I'm mad. Like how does this work? I, I don't understand a college football sometimes. I don't. <laughs> oh, man. I, I can, you can say I'm triggered. Yeah, just put the little triggered sign. On. Something. Oh, my God. Oh. Anyway, um, I don't think nothing's much has really changed since the last week as far as recruiting goes. Uh, except for that. That's changed. Only because they had a visit. That's totally fair, though. We're going to catch back up. Uh, we're going to get Willie Dodds next week. Um, we're staying about the same pace as we were last time. Minus 135. That's fine, though. I don't care if I, if I miss out on a quarterback. Uh, we got a lead on Quentin Robinson. Uh, we got a lead on Dylan Sears now. Um, Roger Robinson. We're still catching up there. Um, Tyler Trangan. That's pretty good. Um, we're, well, they had a, they just had a visit, so, you know, we'll catch back up. Not as bit, not as big of a point difference as I thought it was going to be though. Um, Joel Daniel, still a big lead there. Eric Fox lead, Dre Scott, a lead. Um, even after the visit, they're still far behind. Um, Chris Garrett, um, we're catching up just a little bit, uh, because of the scholarship offer. Uh, but we're still a thousand points behind. That's not a big deal though. We'll catch back up. Uh, he committed to Michigan State. Manny Porter did. Um, that's not a big deal, though. Like I said, uh, eh. These recruits locked us out. Not a big deal. Calvin Dean is... We don't. We really don't necessarily need quarterbacks. Randy Henry committed to North Texas. Anybody else? So, yeah. Nobody else really on the board right now. Um, mm, we'll see, though. We we got we got we fell behind on some because of the visits, but honestly, not that big of a deal. Really not. Um, let's take a look at the top twenty-five polls, and um, we'll see that USC, University of Spoiled Children, have taken the number one spot, and they beat a number twelve Notre Dame team. Yeah, this is our reality, folks. This is actually happening. We may not get our number one spot back until either one, the national championship game, or two, USC loses a game. By the look of their, looks of their schedule, too, it looks like it might not happen until week, oh, well, until probably the game against Stanford. Very well possible. And even so, Ohio State could probably take our spot as well. But their only ranked opponent is number 12 Notre Dame outside of this schedule here. So their chances of taking the number one spot aren't very likely. Um, Texas at number four, Tennessee at five, which is still ridiculous to me if you ask me. Um, you got Mississippi State at six, Penn State seven, uh, Stanford eight, Virginia Tech nine, Iowa ten, uh, LSU eleven, Notre Dame twelve, Alabama at thirteen, uh, BYU fourteen, Florida fifteen, Oklahoma sixteen, Oregon seventeen. Clemson 18, San Diego State 19, Air Force 20, Navy 21, uh, Virginia 22, Miami 23, Cincinnati 24, and Ole Miss 25. Other receiving votes go to Michigan, Utah, Southern Miss, Arkansas State, and 
Northern Illinois. Dropped out of the top 25 are Michigan and Florida State. Oh, man. I'm about to sneeze or something. Um, so that's how this conference standings have looked. We're going to miss Aaron Hardy for about a couple weeks. But we are going to be... Um, he's still in the Heisman race, which is still good. But he's still young. I'm not really too concerned about where he's at right now. Um, man, I feel like a, a sneeze is seriously coming on or something. Um, ben Stover, second in Heisman. Tyler Fagan, the quarterback from Iowa, is first front runner for the Heisman. Um, we're going to take a look at conference standings now. The sneeze is seriously coming on soon. Um, UAB, obviously number one in the conference. LSU number two. Mississippi State three. Alabama four. Uh, they're six and one. Those te All three of these teams are one loss teams, which is really surprising considering Alabama uh, was not doing so hot a couple for a couple years now. Uh, finally, they finally got their act together. Um, Texas A&M uh, four and two, Ole Miss five and two, Auburn three and three, Arkansas one and six. In the East, you got Florida and Tennessee at four and two apiece. Georgia finally back up to five hundred at four and four. Uh, South Carolina at three and three. Uh, South Alabama at two, uh, three and five. Excuse me. Um, Missouri at two and four. Kentucky uh, two and four. Vanderbilt one and six. So not looking good for really anybody else outside of the. Well, Florida has a chance to um, sneak up in there. So does so does Missouri, but I wouldn't count on it. Um, not at all. Wouldn't count on it at all. Um, Florida's like the only team that has a legitimate chance to take the SEC East uh, outside of Tennessee. So everybody else is just like, oh yeah, we're just three lost teams, four lost teams in the conference. While well, Florida's sitting there at a two lost team in the conference, while Tennessee's a one lost team in the conference. But honestly, Tennessee's overrated. I still feel like they're overrated. They're going to lose to Alabama today, I think. Um, anyway, enough of my rambling. Um, I'm going to get ready for this game against Auburn. I will see you guys on the field. And we are underway here again in Birmingham as we are going to receive the kickoff. Are we going to be able to take... Oh, nope. We're not going to be able to take that out. Oh, my God. What a kick. Jesus. It's second down. Eight to go. Ball on the 20. All right, Wesley. All right, Wesley. Oh. Oh, keep going. Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Quickster out here. I like his run style. I do. A lot. And we got the first. Not a good run, but it's still good. Cash me outside. How about that? Oh, the blitz is definitely coming. I fe I saw that immediately. Oh! 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 Kenny Wright! Alrighty then. Oh, uh, okay. That works for me. Oh, it's intercepted! Oh, that's Kyle McMillan with the interception. So we like to get intercept. We like to get the balls in our favor early. Oh, nice run! Oh, nice run! Jermaine McAfee, he's got some wheels. He's got some wheels. Oh, we got some blocks. Down the sideline. Gain of 25. From the three yard line. Second down. Up the middle. Jason Henley for the touchdown. Third string running back in to fill in the void while uh, Aaron Hardy sits out a little. Are they now afraid to pass the ball or something? Are they allergic? Oh, crap. Uh, no. Oh, come on. Come on. No, we're not doing this. We are better than this. Game? The ten yard line. Play Auburn. You want to play ball? Let's go. You want to play round here? Oh yeah, we're just gonna break a bunch of tackles and give you guys the easiest freaking touchdown ever. Okay. Ball twice. Six yard line. First down. Back up quarterback into the game now to call the signals. Oh look at Wesley. There you go. I'm pretty sure Kenny would have got a first down out of that, but you know what? Six yards is not that bad. Oh, 
Oh! Oh! Oh, that's not nice. That's not nice. Oh, man. That's not nice. Oh, man. That's just not nice. Oh, crap. They're going to recover, too. Yep. Give them, a, give them the game, why don't you? Why not? You know? Holy crap, game. Tricks. I can sense it. This game's up to its dirty, this, their dirty little tricks to try and get me to lose. Oh, come on! This is ridiculous! Go down already! They already have 100 yards rushing. We're not doing those either. You're lucky it wasn't picked off. You're lucky you got the block that you set up. No. Stop it. Hey, Alabama. I'm actually cheering for Alabama this game. It's crazy. They're actually beating Tennessee. Good. Tennessee's overrated. Oh, Jesus. Really? Now I got a punt. Oh my god, he snuck it right by me. Oh, I had him. Auburn's keeping it pretty tight right now. Oh, nice. Way to go getting your hands in there. Good D, good D on that one. Frank Clement. Oh, breaking tackles. 21 yard gain. Knew he was going to be open. He just has a knack of catching the ball. Come creeping out of the corner. And you know what? That is a perfectly okay first down. You know why? Because it extends the. I don't like this. Oh, Ben Smith. Nice grab. He's taken down. That's the kind of play calling and execution I like to see. He's gonna try and scramble. Oh, Ben Smith back in the end zone. Touchdown. There you go. Wesley Thompson. There you go. Finally we got a touchdown pass. First touchdown pass we've had in like six or like a legitimately six quarters. This dude's this quarterback is nothing more than a glorified running back. I have established this now. He's nothing more than a glorified back right now. Now he tries to buy some time. Fumble! Uh oh! Oh, that's what you get! That's what you get for doing that so much. Good thing they got the ball. You're gonna end up just like you're gonna end up just like Kenny. On the bench with a hit pointer. Well, he actually threw the ball? It's a miracle. He's only throwing, what, four passes this game? Four or five? Actually, I'm actually giving him um, not enough credit. Look at this! He's a, he's a total cheapskate. Look at this little cunt. Short yardage defense here. The kick is up. Twenty one time. <sighs> Are you kidding me right now with that crap? Oh my god. Knock that crap off. He's throwing it like super tight windows right now. He's just he had a feeling. These guys are cheesing me. These guys will do anything and everything. They're doing everything right and nothing wrong. They're going to go for two. Oh, my God. Why is this team so annoying? Big fella. Oh, he got the first. Thank you, TJ. Boom, right over. Let's go. That's beautiful, man. They need to get it inside the 49. Oh, perfect. There's a very impressive open field. <sighs> First down. Oh, 
Uh, oh, crap. Oh, of course. Of freaking course. Alabama's just got to keep fighting. I, I want Alabama to beat Tennessee so bad. It's bad. He sails it long. Intercept. Oh. I'll take that. We take those, though. We take those. There's no way they're coming down. I can't just, just on a whim, change the game plan. Yep. I can't change my game plan on a whim. It's hard. It's just, I'm so used to running these plays. Evans from 54! Yo! Reese Davis joins us in the studio. Ah! The third Saturday in October. Thank you, three yard routes that get you absolutely nowhere as far as your your offense's uh you know functionality because it's definitely not working. He's scrambling. Oh my god, get clobbered. Say that. You could say that I am. But I'm also down a quarterback. That is like one of the biggest contributors of my offense. Big fella, TJ. TJ, give me first. Give me first, TJ. There you go. There you go, TJ. There you go, TJ. Give me first. Oh, no. I don't like this setup. I don't like this defensive setup. Ah, oh, crap. He played it well. He's gonna try and oh. taken down around the 14 yard line. He played that coverage well. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kicks away. 24-17. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Right now. Check, check. 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 Caught out in the open. Out of bounds. Got to go. Ball at the 27. Really one of the Come on. Come on, team. Come on, defense. No today. Oh, it's intercepted. Let's go. <laughs> Kyle McMillan. The Tigers, star quarterback. Woo. That's how you save the season. Oh, we escaped by the skin of our teeth. Thanks to Kyle McMillan. And honestly... Jason Henley could have been one easily just as one too, but Kyle McMillan came up with two key interceptions that in the one in the especially in the fourth quarter that really helped us get the victory. The offense was definitely crippled today with the loss of Aaron Hardy and the loss of Kenny Wright. So our offense was definitely crippled, and we still still managed a seven point win. If that doesn't spell number one for you, I don't know what does. I mean. Our offense was extremely crippled, and uh, we came out with a win. We're 8-0 on the year by the skin of our teeth. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like. If you're new to the channel at all, subscribe for more. Until then, peace out.